So today I'm going to be quilting a Linus quilt that I've made on my treble sewing machine, my Singer 127. Um, this will be the first time I've really quilted on this machine. I've tried to make it work before and have not been able to. Um, so I have pin, I've pieced my top and pin basted it. My pins are about five inches apart. I use my hand, find a pattern that I can lay them in. And my first stitching is going to be to stabilize around my sashing around all the blocks. Once that stabilizing quilting is in, I can come back in and do whatever I want to within the block itself. And I'm going to try to use a free motion foot and actually treadle while I free motion quilt inside those blocks. For what I have set up right now, I have my walking foot set on the machine. It's a short shank machine, so it has a short shank walking foot. Um, I've made a uh, shuttle of thread using my shuttle winder. I'll show you how to do that later. Um, that's kind of an adventure, so I wanted to do the first one when I wasn't being filmed. I only have one shuttle that will fit this machine. I own about 15 shuttles but only one will work in the machine. The others are either too long for the shuttle case or too short for the bobbin winder. So I only have the one that came with the machine. I need to invest in some others. Um, and so now I'm going to start quilting. First of all, I need to get the quilt all back up on the sewing surface so that it's not hanging down. Um, Normally in my sewing surface I also have something under my left arm uh, that I can lay the quilt on, uh, but because of the camera I don't, I don't have that set up in here. And, and hopefully I won't need it for this small quilt. Um, it's not a, a show quilt or, or anything, it's just going to get some, some simple quilting in it. So the first thing I need to do is to pull up my bobbin thread. So I make the first stitch, pull that stitch out. Pull my threads out and slide them to the back. This is stitching in the ditch, and ideal I, I would be right down in that um, seam line but I can't get far enough over it without obstructing the view to the camera. Uh, normally I will be sitting like this so that I can actually see the needle going between the two pieces of fabric. And if I spread the fabrics open and sew right between them, when I let go, the fabric that's on top will fold back over that stitch line and you won't be able to see it. doesn't have a, a numbered stitch length adjustment. It just has this screw and the further out you turn it the smaller the stitches are and the further in you turn it the larger the stitches are. So um, I have it set pretty far out so that I'll get a, a nice small stitch to hold this quilt together. Especially with the homespun fabrics I want a, a small stitch. Um, because they tend to shift. And you can see how the fabric is, is shifting and creating this wrinkle right here. I wouldn't normally get that with a walking foot or wouldn't normally expect it. And uh, so I'm going to have to keep, the, keep it stretched taut so that the backing fabric stays stretched taut and I don't end up with a puckered spot. I love how quiet this machine is. It's a long time of oiling to get it to run this smoothly and quietly. 